So barely a week passes without eco-fanatics sticking their noses into our morning commute, usually by sticking themselves to bits of our roads. Today, protesters from Just Stop Oil damaged fuel pumps and glued themselves to a service station forecourt along the M25. Surrey police tell us they've arrested at least 20 people. Yesterday, the same group caused chaos at all depots by staging sit-down protests. Already this year, they've disrupted the BAFTA awards, that's not such a bad thing, and the British Grand Prix, as well as sticking themselves to various priceless works of art. Joining me now is Just Stop Oil protester Alex de Conning, I hope that's right, and former Top Gear presenter Steve Berry. Alex, I don't want to have a go, I want to get straight to the point. Um, I have an issue with, with this, but I, I want to ask you a question. What does Just Stop Oil mean, briefly? Uh, basically, the government are trying to push through another 40 new fossil fuel facilities and we're demanding that there should be no new oil licences in the UK because we have eight years in reserve, which is more than enough time to have a fair transition to renewable energy and to make sure that oil workers are reskilled and treated properly. Right, so here's what I'm going to say to you. How old are you? I'm 24. I don't want to sound like your dad, but here's what I'm going to say to you. <laughs> if you were 57, young man, right, yeah. and you had a family and you had a mortgage and you had to go to work and you had an energy crisis that was about to cripple you financially, would you be sitting in a road or would you be slightly hacked off if these eco-zealots or whatever you call them were making it impossible for you to carry on with your job? I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way I'm being honest. Every time I get somebody from Just Stop Oil, they're barely out of nappies. No disrespect. Where? Wh why? You don't have any experience of the real world. It's just... It, it, well, it's that's... a bunch of unwashed students giving it large. You're stopping people from doing... going about their daily lives, man. Unwashed. OK. Um, first of all, we have many age ranges. I've been arrested next to people who were um, 18... You say that with pride. I've been arrested. Why? Because this is the kind of action that we need to take. We are in a climate emergency. Do you not realise how important the situation yes, is? Yes, I do, but you're not going to like what I'm going to say. And you're going to say? I'm going to... I don't know what Steve says. <laughs> We're in a climate emergency. <laughs> there are people watching this who yeah. cannot pay their bills. They exactly. cannot heat their houses. The they cannot living... feed their kids. And do you know what I'm going to say to yeah, you? The cost... Leave that a minute and concentrate what's no, happening now. No, I'm not now. saying to leave that a minute. The cost of living crisis is very closely related to the climate crisis. We could be fixing both at the same time. No, we, we could can't. be insulating homes, which saves almost half half on people's I'd energy cut, bills. I'd cut, I'd cut the green yeah. levy, I'd cut VAT on fuel, and I'd... I'm not saying... Energy bills are right. £2.5 billion pounds higher than they should be Here's because green thing. policies have been scrapped over the last decade. Here's another if we thing. We subsidise public transport, which we were talking about before we arrived on the show. That would save people a fortune on transportation costs as well as... The I'm not disagreeing about the fact there are energy issues. I'm talking cheaper. about how you do it and now. Bring in Steve briefly. Really appreciate what you're saying. Do, do we... Wouldn't it be great to be that young and idealistic? Yes. I was like that when I was his age. Combat jacket, placard, ban the bomb, down with this sort of thing, vegetable rights and peace. But it's not patronising. What I'm saying is no, right. But you, but it's you, entitled his opinion. But you are a little... There seem to be two, there seem to be two groups. There's, there's nice, well-presented, well-spoken, yeah, middle-class young people like that. And then there's... People in their 50s and 60s who look like they worked in the public sector retired early and are bored watching Antiques Road Trip and Tipping Point, so they want something to do. They're asking for stop oil. Oil is stopping, but there's going it's to be... Stopping. It is Four stopping. Fossil fuel it facilities are stopping. in the pipeline. But there's going to be a transitional period. Look at the popularity... The transitional period should start right now. Look, at, We have is, eight years in reserve. Is. It was 40 degrees in London a few weeks ago. 40 degrees. It was I, that in 1976, no, but you weren't wasn't. around to experience it, it really how we wasn't. were. Do you want to see the grass? I can show you the grass later. Can I, I say, can I just right. jump in? Yeah, just just genuinely, can. for one reason, and, I, and I've said my piece, and fair play to you, you've said yours. Do you not think there's a more constructive way, and I go back to it, and I never get answered this, than ruining... Well, you, you, what you do is you stick yourselves to these things and you make it impossible for people to get on with their lives. Why are you not talking sense, as you've actually spoken, hands in the air? I've learned more from you in two minutes than all of those dullards sticking themselves to whatever and making our lives more difficult. That's the point I'm making. But sadly, we would not get on shows like these if it wasn't for stuff like this. I'd have you on. You don't have to stick yourself to anything. I'm oh, waiting for that hand. Move that hand. Oh, it's fine. We're all right. <laughs> no, but I'm being oh, serious. I appreciate that, it's but then the please invite target. me back next time instead of having to resort to crazy stuff like this. It's the wrong target. Instead of inconvenience, in hard-working people this is as the they point. try and this get to point. work or school or wherever they've got to go, why don't they glue themselves to the yachts of these super-rich guys that are making all this money? What you say to that, the, Why don't you do that? And I'll Well, I'll tell you why. Because they might have to go outside the UK and then they find the sort of policing where they don't ask for your pronouns first, they give you a crack with a stick, which is virtually everywhere else outside of the UK. Look what happened in Italy when they tried pulling this sort of routine. 
people, not the police, just got out of the cars do, do, and dragged them out I of mean, the way. I will never forget that woman, right, in the, the, the Range Rover who couldn't get to the hospital with the car. I'm just asking you, Alex, I'm not, you can't take stuff per... Do you understand her frustration with you and your friends? Of course I understand. So why don't yeah, you do it differently? Why are you not getting the people on the show who have been disrupted because train tracks have spontaneously combusted, because Heathrow runways have been melted so flights couldn't take off, and um, flash floods so people couldn't get to work in that way? Why haven't you got people on the show who... Because uh, I've only got two just... minutes left and I've got you on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're always focusing on this kind of disruption and not the other kinds of disruption because that the climate that's crisis. The, well, but you say we're focusing on disruption, my friend. That's because you and your supporters, and the that's only way to do. stop us yeah. and also to stop the other kinds of disruption from the climate crisis is for the government to stop issuing new fossil fuel. Lives. So you won't stop doing what you're doing until the government does that. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly, that's what I'm saying. Final Fighting word for our lives. Why would we stop? Final word. You always do it in the southeast of England. Come to Salford. Try it up there, see how you get on, lad. You, you got arrested in Newcastle, my, my favourite yes, city. I'm, I'm uh, you Newcastle. were left shaken I'm after doing... being forcibly dragged away. Yes, yeah, so we were very surprised by the response. I'm doing my PhD in green hydrogen production at Newcastle University. And I just want to point out that there are so many solutions that I found through this that were just not being used. We have these... Well, I'll tell you what, come back on the show, right? Come back on the show and spend time talking to me about that. But I will I'd never change, and I mean that genuinely, because fair play to you. But my, my issue is, is that, uh, is the disruption, the disrespect. I'm not... Listen, you might have a very good point. But I think you have to understand that people are really struggling, and I think that right now, they right push. now, they don't look kindly. I'm saying, if you want traction from your argument, I'm not trying stop to win the X ruining factor people's here. lives. I'm not trying to win the X factor here. It's not a popularity contest. We are doing this because we need things to change. Fair enough. History has shown that in order to get the kind of radical change that we need at the timescale we have, this is the solution. Women did not get the vote by voting on it. No, they threw themselves in front of a horse. Final word from you, Steve Berry. Wrong target. Target these rich, fat yep. cats, not, not working people. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And that is an open offer, and I mean that. Man to man, we'll I have really the discussion. I really hope to come right? back on this. Absolutely. Thank you thank very you much, Thank you very Steve. much for having me. Uh, Steve, thank you. Alex, thank you.